Hello and welcome, dear students of the fourth grade of primary school. Today we will explain a new lesson in the series of communications and information technology lessons entitled Online Learning Environments and Resources. Lesson Objectives Explain the purpose of online learning environments. Discuss online learning resources. Deal with questions related to other study topics. Let's interact together. How did online learning tools help you learn about a specific topic? Give examples. Online learning environments. Online learning environments such as Edmodo. Allow teachers and students to communicate with each other. No matter where they are. Teachers can provide virtual lessons and download tests and homework for students to access. Students can also communicate with their teachers and publish assignments when completed. Learn more about this platform through the next video. Welcome to Edmodo, and congratulations on creating your account. With Edmodo, you can create a safe and customizable digital classroom and get access to millions of resources from the world's largest education network. Let me take you on a quick tour of how to get started on our platform. When you first log into your account, you'll be able to see your home stream, a collection of posts that are sent from teachers you're connected to, either through communities you're a part of or groups that you've joined. Once you customize what you want to see, you can use the home stream to find and share resources, collaborate with your colleagues, and make connections with teachers in your school, district, and all over the world. Now, if you're like me, the most important network to foster is the one in your classroom. In Edmodo classes, you can create a digital space for you and your students to communicate and get work done. Online learning resources. There are many online learning resources that can help you on different topics, and the most important of these are Egyptian Knowledge Bank, National Geographic Kits, Map Maker, Vlabi. And we will get to know each of them in detail, so follow the lesson with me. Egyptian Knowledge Bank, the first electronic library in Egypt that contains information sources on a variety of topics. It enables you to search and view topics, digital articles, and video clips by simply clicking on them. Learn more about this platform through the next video. فقط لجميع المصريين واحدة من أكبر المكتبات الرقمية في العالم متاحة مجانا سجل دلوقتي على موقع بنك المعرفة المصري للتحميل والاطلاع على مصادر المعرفة المختلفة في جميع المجالات واللي بتناسب مختلف الفئات والأعمار لكل مصري حق في المعرفة بنك المعرفة المصري خد حقك في المعرفة National Geographic Kids, a popular online resource that enables children to find information on a variety of topics, including animals, science, history, and geography. Learn more about this platform through the next video. National Geographic Kids is the ultimate destination for kids of all ages who are curious about the world. It's a great big world. You are invited to check out awesome videos discovered by National Geographic kids just like you. Learn about all different kinds of things. So much to and we can explore the world and everything in it. Keep exploring! Vlabi, a virtual laboratory platform that enables students and teachers to conduct laboratory experiments in an interactive environment. It is not only informative, but also fun. Learn more about this platform through the next video.
MapMaker Interactive, an interactive feature provided by National Geographic that provides online mapping tools for students and teachers and allows the use of map-related data and tools. It is one of the trusted sites. Learn more about this platform through the next video. Using the MapMaker Interactive, you can explore the amazing world we live in. The Zoom tool lets you move in and out of the map to view places at different scales. If you're looking for a specific place, try using the search tool to find it. Enter a place name like a mountain range or a city and the map will zoom to that place. In the tabs along the right, you can find a menu of base maps to choose from that include different sets of features. The base map you choose depends on what you want to do with the map and what information is important to show. At the end of the lesson, we hope that you have benefited from what we have provided. Wait for us in the upcoming lessons. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.